The Prophecy of Daniel 12 Archangel Michael stands up. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Daniel 12, 1 Daniel 10, 11 and 12 are really one vision. Chapter 12 just continues the angel's words explaining to Daniel the meaning of the visions he had seen earlier. People get mixed up in their understanding when they don't realize this fact. Michael stands up. Who is Michael? We know it is our mighty archangel next to Gabriel. This is the name always used for him when he wars against Satan. He stands up for his people. There is another place where we see Michael stand up, to help Gabriel to fight with the king of Persia for the returning of children of Israel from captivity of Babylon then the one dot our evidence is Daniel 10 verses 10 up to verses 13. And, behold, an hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto thee, and stand upright, for unto thee am I now sent. And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand, and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, but, lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the kings of Persia. Daniel 10, 10-13 Now we see a very important thing here, Gabriel tells Daniel how his prayers had been heard right from the first day, but Gabriel also tells him, that he had been working with Cyrus to get him to fulfill the prophecy, and allow the Jews to return to Jerusalem from Babylon captivity. Who was the prince of Persia? In this case it was Satan influencing the man who was the king of Persia. Satan was working there to try and stop God's work, and for three weeks the king seemed more interested in listening to Satan, Many unseen battles go on that humans have no idea of. But then it says Michael came to help him and the battle was won. The same thing will happen also in the present time Gabriel and Michael will come. We expect this year 2024 AD or next year 2025 AD. The problem is to whom they came. Because they don't come until they get a good person like Daniel because Jesus is not present now. So that understand they will came to the stone the Saint WHO prepare house of Israel for salvation that is Imamu Mahdi already Gabriel told him I will come soon but the time is unknown to Imamu Mahdi himself but he is waiting. The other time Imamu Mahdi saw in dream and Gabriel told him to ask forgiveness for all children of Israel. In AD 28 probation ended for the Jews as a nation. They can still be saved as individuals, of course. When he stands up this time, probation will close for the world. Everyone will have decided on the issues and will either belong totally to Elohim God, keeping all his commandments, or be in total rebellion against him, following tradition and man's authority. Matthew 15, 9 but in vain they do worship me, God Elohim, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men, also see Matthew 15 verses 7 verses 8. I want to be among that number who shall have their names written in the book, who shall be delivered. I want the overcomer's reward. The masterly temptations of Satan will overpower many who now profess to believe the truth. Their unworthy course of action, their denial of Christ as a prophet, will make it necessary for God to blot their names from the book of life. But may it not be so with us. In the time of trouble just before the coming of Christ, the righteous will be preserved through the ministration saint helped by heavenly angels, Gabriel and Michael but there will be no security for the transgressor of God's law.
Angels cannot then protect those who are disregarding one of God's commandments. Elohim God will be with his dear children who trust in him and wait their mercy, and Satan cannot overcome them. Why is this coming time of trouble more terrible than any that has gone before? There have been many times of trouble and terrible happenings and persecution, what makes this so dreadful? Always before God's grace, the mercy of God, was still mixed with everything that happened in history, we don't know how much we owe to this merciful grace, without it life would long ago have been extinguished from this planet, by the insane destruction caused by Satan and his nasty demons and the people who have his character. In Revelation 7, 1 this mercy is pictured as four mighty angels, holding back the winds of destruction by Armageddon. After Prophet Jesus leaves the sanctuary in 28 AD to heaven until he return no longer intercedes for sinners, there will be a time when there is no more grace available to the lost during seven-year tribulation. Satan will have complete control over them. This is when probation has ended for this world it is now present time. See Revelation 22. In the Matthew 24 verses 15 when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolate, spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso read it let him understand. Matthew 24 verses 16 Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Read up to verses 17 up to the end of verses 51 that is Armageddon already started in Gaza WHO can stop. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Daniel 12, 2, 3 Just before the actual coming of Jesus in the clouds of heaven, there will be a special resurrection. The people of God who die in the final persecution of the Sunday law, just before the close of probation, and those who have believed the three angels' messages, will be raised to see him come. But also the ones who killed Zachariah John Baptist and those who have been the worst persecutors of God's children through the ages, will be raised to watch in horror as Jesus returns, not now as a humble man, but as King of Kings. Remember how Jesus warned the high priest about that. Matthew 26, 64, Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power meaning angels, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Imagine how terrible will be this sight to those wicked ones. But think how wonderful it will be for God's dear children as they see him coming, and know that now they are forever free from those who want to force them to disobey their dear heavenly Elohim Father. Those wicked people will die three times, the earthly death, then when they see him come they will die of fright, and finally in the lake of fire they will die forever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Daniel 12, for the angel told Daniel that this part of his book was not going to be understood until the end of those great time prophecies written in the book. Then, knowledge would be increased. This knowledge doesn't just mean worldly knowledge, it means understanding the book of Daniel. The Syrian Peshitta has this verse. But you, O Daniel, seal these words and be silent, and seal this book even to the time of the end, many shall want to know the end, and knowledge shall be increased. As the time prophecies were nearing their end meaning our present time God's Holy Spirit or Gabriel drew attention to them, and helped people to understand what they meant. Running to and fro, does not just mean people traveling around a lot, it means to study the scriptures, running here and there, in the Bible and putting texts together, to understand the great final message of the book. Time prophecies end. As the 1260-year prophecy, the 2520-year prophecy, 
and the 2300-year prophecy neared their end, people all over the world began to study the book of Daniel and learn wonderful truths out of it. This prophecy was perfectly fulfilled. The prophecies of Daniel and Revelation as well as the other prophets in the Bible, have special meaning for us now in the end times. God wants us to study and understand his messages to us. Then I Daniel looked, and, behold, there stood other two, the one on this side of the bank of the river, and the other on that side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Daniel 12, 5, 6 Number less a person than the Son of God appeared to Daniel. This description is similar to that given by John when angel was revealed to him upon the Isle of Patmos. Our Lord Elohim now comes with another heavenly messenger to teach Daniel what would take place in the latter days. This knowledge was given to Daniel and recorded by inspiration for us, upon whom the ends of the world are come. And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time, times, and an half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Daniel 12, 7 The man in linen is Saint our high priest. The heavenly beings asked him how long the wicked powers would persecute God's true people. He answers with another prophecy of the 1260 years, which will end in between 2023 AD to 2030 AD. You see, this power, seeking now to gain control of the whole world, has already been rejected by God. They have had their time and did wickedly. It will seem like it is going to succeed again, but just when it takes control and seeks to blot out God's people, it will quickly come to its end. The beast USA or NATO Rome and his buddies may roar and pass laws to force God's people to break God's commandments, but they will not do it, Elohim will give them power to stand true for him. And I heard, but I understood not, then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified, and made white, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Daniel 12, 8-10 the wicked or westerns have chosen Satan as their leader. Under his control, the wonderful faculties of the mind are used to construct agencies of destruction. God has given the human mind great power, power to show that the Creator has endowed man with ability to do a great work against the enemy of all righteousness, power to show what victories may be gained in the conflict against evil. But when those to whom God has entrusted capabilities give themselves into the hands of the enemy, they become a power to destroy. When men do not make God first and last and best in everything, when they do not give themselves to him for the carrying out of his purposes, Satan comes in, and uses in his service the minds that, given to God, could achieve great good. Under his direction, they do an evil work with great and masterly power. And from the time that the daily, sacrifice, shall be taken away, and the abomination that make desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth, and commit to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest, and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Daniel 12, 11-13 688 AD UMER Temple Establishment plus 1260 is equal to 1948 Israel Reborn. 688 AD plus 1290 is equal to 1978 Treatment O Peace with Egypt. 688 AD plus 1335 is equal to 2023 AD up to 2030 AD the Masih coming at ER 2030 AD. 
Here we see two more time prophecies. The first is 1290 day years. It is from the time when the daily is taken away. This daily or continual desolating power is paganism. The word sacrifice doesn't belong there and is not in the Hebrew text. The abomination of desolation, power that would begin then to be set up, is. Then we see 1335 years which starts at the same place, 688 AD, and comes to 2023 AD. Jesus says there is a blessing on that year. What happened in 2023 AD up to 2030 AD? Well the message of the time prophecies of Daniel will be preached with great power. We call it the midnight cry message. Remember the parable Jesus told about the ten virgins. There was a time when the cry went forth at midnight, Behold the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. In 2023 AD to 2030 AD, which extends to part of 2023 look our YouTube channel, there were a people giving this message, they were looking for the coming of the bridegroom, Jesus, and they had prepared their hearts to meet him. This is why it was a blessed year 2023 up to 2030 AD. You can learn more about it in other studies in this book. Daniel, stands in his lot, this means that at those times, and in our day also, the prophecies of the book of Daniel would be understood, and do a great work in the earth. This happened in 2023 up to 2030 AD. But it is also happening today. The final message to the world will have its great power from showing how the time prophecies of Daniel and Revelation have been fulfilled. Daniel and Revelation actually form one book given by Gabriel. He gave the first part to Daniel and the second part to John on Patmos. May God bless you as you learn about the wonderful scenes in the Revelation.